I'm Suzanne Doyle Morris, founder of the Inclusic Institute. I started consulting in 2006. I had my PhD from Cambridge by then and an executive coaching qualification. So I went into lots of corporates and essentially helped them look at how to get more women into senior positions. I loved that. However, just a few years ago, I set up Inclusic Institute because as I began to make more progress on the goals of the organization, I realized we needed to do a lot more work with men. And in fact, men were very open to thinking through diversity of thought and what it could offer their companies. And that's when I set up the Inclusive Institute just two years ago. Over the last 10 years, I've done increasing amounts of work with senior leaders, often men. And the smartest guys get that diversity is here that the competitive landscape that we have all inherited is global, it's increasingly female, and frankly, the guys who can get on board with this, the people who understand that this is coming and is here now, they're gonna have the competitive advantage in the 21st century. And that's when I felt that scaling the business through the use of technology, e-simulations, and workshops that companies themselves can run with our materials, that was the only way to, to move forward, really. I'm humbled, but hugely proud for the impact that we've had thus far. And it can be anything from the, you know, the, the, what the seemingly small, the very personal, to the big. Uh, just this week, I can give you two examples. I had uh, a young uh, intern on my team say that the fact that I've been able to keep him on and pay him has meant that he hasn't had to continue with his student job at a bar, which is fantastic. He can do something he loves and get paid for it. Equally, I ran into a former consultancy client who said that they are now putting together, putting acting on the 50 recommendations I made for their law firm, and they are now getting known in the marketplace for making real progress on diversity, which was a challenge for them initially before I worked with them. So. That's huge, that makes me really proud. Uh, both of those examples, and they just happened this week. And when you work for yourself, you can find those types of examples every week. So I think Scotland is well placed, and I'm also hugely inspired by how many economic powerhouses are countries around the world that are very small in population, not that dissimilar actually to Scotland. <laughs> uh, if you think about the Nordics, and, and some of the most amazing places on earth. They're doing really spectacular things, and they're small, they're we, <laughs> but they're making a huge impact, and that's great. Mm -hmm.